and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a sit down and talking to you type video instead of just showing my hands journaling. I wanted to talk to y'all about journal prompts because I know a lot of times when I sit down to journal, some days I just have no clue what to journal about. And so I think it's important to keep a list of journal prompts so you can just kind of refer back to it and be like, okay, that sounds like a good one to do today. Obviously, if you keep different types of journals, journal prompts are going to range. And what I mean by that is if you're doing like a diary journal, then obviously you'll have prompts to write like pages about. Um, but other types of journals, like the ones that I keep mostly, are like art journals or the ones where you can put pictures in and fold outs and stuff things into pockets and stuff. So those can be general ideas, kind of like bucket lists. The list that I have created today is 25 different prompts and they kind of range between like the diary prompts and the art journal, life journal prompts. So it goes in the between. But in the future I will create specific videos for journal idea prompts for the more artsy journals, the life journals, and then some for the strictly just writing journals. Sorry if my glasses are glaring, I would take them off, but I really just am so blind. So I'm not going to do that right now, I don't have contact. Number one on the list is bucket list. I absolutely love keeping bucket lists. Even if you just have a diary type journal, I think you should keep a bucket list somewhere in there. Um, it is so important to just have a list of things that you want to do before you die. Um, it doesn't have to be extravagant or crazy, it can be literally whatever you want to do. And it's fun to just look at that one day when you're extremely bored and you're like, what do I do? And you can just look at that and be like, I can mark this off of my list today. And I don't know, I think that's really fun. The second thing I have is things I love. So I really like to keep a list of things that I love. It can range from literally anything in the entire world. So that's a really long list, so it's just kind of fun to keep an ongoing list. And if you do one new, if you do a new list every single year, it's kind of fun to see the different things that change and the things that stay the same. But if you don't like keeping lists, if you like keeping like the paragraph diary, uh, normal journal type form, then you can literally just write a whole um, page about things that you love and why you love them and it does not have to be list form. Number three is the same thing but opposite, so things that I hate. That can be silly or that can be deep, whatever you kind of want to do with that. Number four is favorite quote, parenthesis quotes. So I did that because a lot of times on a page I like to write a really big quote and decorate it and make it really cute because if there's a quote that really speaks to me I like to make that big so I can look back on it but I also love so many quotes that I will keep a list of quotes on separate pages just like smaller ones that I love but aren't like that significant same thing um, pretty much with all of these if you don't like keeping lists you can write about a quote that you love and why you love it and who wrote it and what it means to you and that can be like the diary for Final prompt number five is favorite things in parentheses I have movies music etc you can keep a list of literally anything. That's why I love a list. And it's fun just to see how tastes change and what you're liking in the moment. So you can make a list of favorite things, or you can make a list of favorite movies, favorite music, favorite foods, just a bunch of lists like that. Or you can just write a whole page about your favorite thing. Number six is about my day. If you had a really intense day, those are fun to write about. Or if you had a really boring day, sometimes those are interesting to write about too or journal about. I made a page the other day. Um, I just took a picture of my room. It was a super lazy Sunday and I kind of just wanted to document the simple Sunday in my um, Spotify playlist and so I have a video of that up, but you know just talk about your day or journal about your day. Number seven is Dear Future Me. So I think it's really interesting to write to Dear Future Me and just kind of write a whole letter to yourself about where you are now, where you want to be in the future, or where you think you're going to be in the future, or just whatever you feel like writing to your future self that's super interesting. Also, you can reverse that and write to your past self and things that you would tell yourself um, knowing what you know now. Number eight is goals. So that's just basically what it is if you want to write like New Year's resolutions or just goals for yourself that you want to keep track of. It's really good to write those down and write why you want to have those or you know if you're doing them or if you're not doing them or just whatever you want to write about your goals. Number nine is your dreams which is different than your goals. Um, 
I don't mean your dreams, your aspirations. I mean like your dreams. Like wake up in the middle of the night and write about your dream. A lot of people will keep dream journals where they just keep it by their bed. So if they wake up in the middle of the night and they had a super crazy dream, they're going to sit there and write about their dream. And um, I think that's interesting, but I don't keep one of those. If I remember my dream, I think it sometimes it'll be fun to journal, kind of make it artsy, like create a picture of what your dream was about or do a diary page and write about what your dream was about because dreams sometimes are so weird that um, it's fun to document them because you forget dreams so fast. Number 10 is monthly, so by that I just kind of mean like the themes or the holidays that go along with that month. So for December obviously you would do like Christmassy themes or wintery themes. 11 is regrets, so you can make a list of your regrets or you can talk about one serious regret. Number 12 is one more day to live. So I really like asking people these questions when I'm getting to know someone. And it's fun to think about for myself like and how it changes yearly. Obviously it's pretty sad to think about if you had one more day to live, what would you do? But it's also really interesting like just to see what would you do, like what is important to you right now. 13 is doodle, so I wrote doodle because even if you keep a diary type journal, you should still take the time to doodle. 14 is your favorite memory, that's self-explanatory. 15, fears, self-explanatory. 16 is family, have a whole page dedicated to your family, whether you're close with them or you're not. Everyone has a family and it's interesting and it's good just to keep a page about them. Same thing with your friends or your friend, I put S in parentheses because you can talk about your best friend or you can talk about your friends, whatever your situation is, or you can even do your significant. 18 is love. I wrote just love and then in parentheses I put list, definition, art. Kind of take with this word what you will, whatever you are interpreting from the word love. Some ideas to go along with that would be maybe you want to make a list of your um, expectations. I mean, not necessarily like that could be bad, but like. Um, a list of things that you want your significant other to have and you're not gonna um, settle, you know what I mean? Or you could do your own definition of love, like what does love mean to you and you can kind of write about that. 19, I have collage, so make a collage. Make a collage of words, make a collage of pictures, make a collage of materials, whatever you want to do. But collages are awesome and they're kind of a good way to just put a bunch of emotion on paper. 20 is hobbies, so that's self-explanatory. 21, I have concerts slash events. So for me, I used to go to so many concerts. I don't go to min as many anymore because of my tinnitus, but um, I do love keeping a list of all the people that I've seen because it's so cool because sometimes you forget, you're like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe I saw them. So keeping a list is pretty fun. Also, maybe keeping a list of concerts you want to go to. Um, but I also put slash events, so if you're someone who doesn't maybe go to that many concerts, but you go to a lot of musicals or plays or um, whatever the event is, you can keep track of that or keep a list of events that you want to go to. 22, I have books slash movies you want. So I really like to keep a list of books that I want to read and movies that I want to watch or whatever it is that I want to do. That's not necessarily something that goes on your bucket list. 23 is pet peeves. So this one's self-explanatory as well. I think it's funny to keep track of that. 24 is a letter to someone. Write a letter to someone. Make it deep. Make it funny. Make it silly. Make it whatever you want. But write a letter to someone whether you're giving it to them or not. 25 is grateful for. So keep track of what you're grateful for. I think that's super important to do just because, you know, life gets crazy and it gets sad and it gets hectic or just whatever it is and it's important just to stay grounded in what you're really grateful for. So that is all I have written down. It's only 25. You have a whole world of things to write about. I will make more of these videos and more specific two types of journals, but this one was just a general one to get it started. So I really hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to leave comments down below if you have anything you want to say and I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.